Hello everybody. In this video, we will be creating an Ionic Apps menu from scratch without using a starter template. Uh, some of you may know Ionic also provides starter template with the tabs menu in it. So it will look something like this. So we will try to create the tabs menu that you are seeing in the bottom of the page. Okay, so let's get started. So first we need to create, let's create a blank project. So what we will do, Ionic start, uh, then the name of the app, let's say Ionic tabs app. Then after that, uh, we can say blank, then V2 as we are using Ionic 2. Uh, so I will be back while it finishes. Okay, so now you can see the blank project has downloaded. Now what we need to do is we can open that app in our favorite editor of choice. Uh, so I am using PHP Storm here. Uh, so let's go to uh, the project directory and open that app. Now, uh, first step is let's see how that app looks in the browser. So what we will do is we will do ionic serve. Now it will take some time building the project because it's the first time we are running that project. Uh, it will take a couple of seconds. So uh, let's see. Okay, so you can see uh, it's a blank project. Now we will try to add tabs here at the bottom of the app. So what we need to do is first we need to create the pages that we need to open when we click on the tab. So let's create an about and contact page. Okay, so Ionic also provides uh, a generate utility which, with which we can generate pages. Let's say Ionic generate page uh, about and the other page that we will be creating is oh sorry uh, we need to be in the ionic tabs app then we can run about then let's add new page contact page then after that we need a page for tabs too. Okay, so it's finished. So let's go to the source folder. Uh, then pages. We can see here. Currently we have home page, then tabs page, about and contact page. So we no longer need home page. We can delete it. Uh, let's keep it that way for now so what we can do is first we need to go to the tabs.html ionic tabs then ionic ion tab then we need to define root for that tab so uh, first root i am thinking of about about page then I come let's call tab title equal to about page then tab icon equal to let's say star for now about page and then contact page and let's say contact page mm let's use book for that okay so now what we can do is we can define about page and contact page here let's move that first then about page equal to about page just make sure you're importing that statement 
and after that contact page contact page all right now what we need to do is we need to go to the app components uh, let's say root page should be now tabs page all right then after we need to go to the app dot modules folder to register our pages uh, let's add about about page uh, contact page then tabs page we also need to add that in the entry components uh, the reason for that is ionic uses the entry component array for its navigation stack so the page all the pages that you will be using in your app need to be in the entry components but if you're using some component that you're including in the page that doesn't need to be there uh, it should be in the declarations array only so now let's see all right about page uh, let's add some boilerplate here let's say about page then we can add a paragraph lorem right then same can be added to the contact page contact page all right so let's see how the final demo will look okay so it's building so when we click on about page actually it's a default page so when we click on contact page we can see contact page and on the about when we click on about page we are seeing the about page all right Thanks.